Major apology millions of Aussies deserve. Hmm. There's many, but anyway. Uh, we are owed an apology for COVID mandates. Yes, we're still censored online. Can you believe it? After all the proof and the truth that is coming out. Anyway, mounting evidence shows the hmm were rushed, less effective than you'd expect of a hmm, and in many cases, dangerous. The whole premise of mandates was to protect the community, but these didn't stop transmission of COVID. So what exactly were we protecting? Nothing, guys, nothing. That's why millions of Australians were on the streets trying to tell you the truth. We risked everything to try to tell you what was going on. We drove all the way to Canberra. Some people drove 40 and 50 hours to Canberra so that you would see that people knew what was going on and we were trying to protect you for goodness sakes. I'm getting upset because next time this happens, don't call us cookers. Don't call us conspiracy theorists. theorists. Listen to us because we were right. We were right about everything. And this isn't because I like being right. This isn't because of I told you so moment. That's not what this is about. This is aggression because we tried to save people's lives and we were unable to do so. And we wish that we had found a better way. This is aggression because I'm upset that you believe the government had your best interest over people like me and your neighbors who are Australians who care about you. Next time you see millions and hundreds of thousands of people on the streets for something, maybe ask yourself, wow, <clears throat> that's a lot of people who care about me. Instead of that's a lot of people who are in my way and who are trying to kill grandma. No, we didn't want to do what we were doing. Do you think we enjoyed putting flyers and letterboxes all over your neighborhood? Do you think we enjoyed standing on the side of the street with, with banners and placards? and things? Do you think we enjoyed being arrested, put in prison, shot at with rubber bullets? No, we were trying to save you. We were trying to help you. If anyone deserves an apology, no offense, it's us. If you were, then what did it matter whether the person at the table next to you in the pub wasn't? It didn't matter. That's what we said. It's like holding an umbrella for someone who doesn't want to get rained on, but they're not holding an umbrella. It's stupid. There are plenty of treatments that can help prevent and reduce the severity of a myriad of other diseases, but the government does not force you to take them or to participate in society. No, they don't. Why? Why? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because the members of parliament had deals with the pharmaceutical companies and they were making millions and millions and billions and billions of dollars. Hello? Oh, they even talk about someone in here that had a severe reaction and died. 34-year-old who had zero, basically zero risk of COVID death. But no, she got that because she wanted to go to pubs and clubs and, and bars. Where there is risk of death or serious side effects for a medical treatment, there is no justification for force or coercion. But that is what happened and no one has apologized. We had posters with that on it. Where there is risk, there must be information. Where there is risk, there cannot be coercion. You guys didn't listen to us and you teased us and you blocked us out of society. I'm telling you now, next time, if you don't listen to us, our patience for you will run thin. Because we have tried so hard to tell you what's going on. And so when we talk about the climate change hoax, when we talk about digital ID being scary, when we talk about cashless societies being a bad idea for the country, how about you hear us out next time, hey? So that four years later, we don't have to hear about the fact that we were right again. How about you just stand next to us and we won't have to read this in four years time because we're going to stop the government from pretending that they care about us and by ruining your lives. We're on your side. Okay. The government, no government is there to protect you. The worst massacres, the worst deaths and genocides in history have been from governments. So what do you think has changed? Come on, wake up. We're here for you. We're Australians. We're together. Stop letting them divide us and stop watching the TV. Bye.